Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80 from Wolf of So today, guys, I'm going to do my El Clasico preview. Down. Like I said, guys, I'm still not quite 100% recovered, so I'm still doing these things without camera. Hopefully, once I'm like 100% recovered, you guys will be able to see my face and everything. There may be some occasional coughing in this video, maybe even sneezing as well, um, maybe even some other stuff. But um, yeah, as I said, guys, just I, 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 you know, I have to get this done because you know this is El Clasico after all. There will be a live stream tomorrow, guys, after the game, of course, at 6 p.m. Eastern time. So let's go ahead and talk about this game, of course. Let's go look at the timeline coming into this game. Barca lost five of the last six matches against Real Madrid and La Liga, having not lost any of their previous seven against the white side of the competition. Real Madrid have won their last two visits to Camp Nou and La Liga. Only once have the white side recorded three straight away wins against Barca history of the competition. Barca have not lost any of their 12 home games in La Liga. They were best unbeaten star at home this season at the stage of the season since 1920. Real Madrid unbeaten the last five La Liga matches, their second longest unbeaten around the competition this season after losing any of, the, any of the first 12 games this term. Barca achieved the most clean sheets and can see the fewest goals after 25 games of a season in entire history of La Liga. So coming into this game, guys, as a Barca fan, I'm kind of a bit confident and worried. You look at the win probability for both teams, Barcelona is 43%, draws 27%, Real Madrid is 30%. Coming into this game, this is the starting level you can see for both teams. One of my big concerns heading into this game for Barcelona is the fact that Pedri is the main player. Pedri, for me, is a very, very important player. He is, in my opinion, the best midfielder that Barca have right now. And he is just such a crucial player because he adds so much creativity, has so much pace and dynamism. He also works very hard off the ball as well. He, like, you know, make those uh, crunchy tackles and recoveries. Which a lot, none of these other players really do. And I know people are going to tell me Gavi does to a certain extent, in which he does. However, I don't think Gavi is nearly as effective as Pedri. Because Gavi a lot of times gets yellow cards for no reason. And a lot of times, he just doesn't have the quality, the technical quality compared to Pedri. I will say this though. He does have more work rate and more passion than uh, Pe Pedri. I will say that right now. As for Real Madrid. Real Madrid have been looking good the last couple of games. You know, they've been scoring goals and everything like that. My concern with Real Madrid, though, is that besides the Espanol game, they've always scored one goal at the last five games, excluding the Espanol game, which is a big concern, I would say, because Real Madrid attacking-wise haven't been great. Vinicius has not been great, and I just think that for me, it's going to be very interesting to see how uh, Vinicius does in this game, because like I said, Benzema as well has not really been in good form. So I think the key worry for Real Madrid, of course, is the fact that there's no Alaba. You know, and you have Rudiger at the back and everything. For Barcelona, of course, Dembele will not be available for this game. I don't think he's going to recover in time for this game. And Lewandowski needs to score because he's not really had a good year this year. So, my score predictions for this game, guys. I think Araujo will be playing a right back over Koundé because Raul is just there to man mark Vinicius. It's a difficult game to call, guys. I personally am very skeptical for this one. Luckily for us, though, for Barca, if we basically... Basically, guys, this is a game we should try not to lose. Because if Real Madrid wins this game, they're only six points behind. Because if we can win this game, we will be 12 points ahead. And if we draw this game, 66, Real Madrid will be on uh, 57. And it will still be a good margin. So, basically, we have to aim this as to not lose. My score prediction for this game is I'm going to go for a draw. I feel as though we can somehow luck a goal... But I don't think we can keep a clean sheet. I don't think we can. This is going to be a low-scoring game, in my personal opinion. Valverde, as I said, always turns up against um, Barcelona. So don't be surprised. He has a master class or something. Um, generally, is pretty good against Barca. So I'm going to go with the 1-1 draw. Hopefully, I'm wrong, though, like I said. Um, and, yeah, like I said, though, I would really love for us to win. Really love for us to win. But um, I'll take a draw, honestly. I'll genuinely take a draw. I'll take a draw. So I want to know what you guys, your predictions are in the comment section below. Where guys, if you're new, please consider that subscribe button. Like this video if you did enjoy. Comment up with your thoughts in the comment section below. And also check out my email in the description below. And also consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button to get access to member streams. Once we have enough people and members videos. Alright, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.